Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota. Check out this 2024 Toyota Sequoia Capstone Edition. Love the silver on this one. Wow, this one's available for sale right here today, December 6, 2023. It's a 2024. We're gonna walk around the outside. We're gonna get inside, check out all the cool features. This thing is loaded. Gorgeous, gorgeous vehicle. Here we go. Capstone is the top of the line in the Sequoia. It's the top of the line luxury edition. If you're gonna do a heavy off-road driving, you might wanna consider a TRD Pro. But if you want luxury, 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 this is the one. So this is Celestial Silver is the color on this one. It's not an extra charge color, but man, does it sparkle. It's gorgeous on this, especially with all the chrome and such. Capstone comes standard with the top of the line headlight package. So quad LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, automatic high beams, automatic on and off, and sequential turn signals. Love those, t those headlights, super bright, super white, look awesome on here. Very aggressive look up front with a lot of chrome. So Capstone has a chrome grill, chrome Toyota badge with the blue highlight, halo if you will, and that's because it's a hybrid. We also have the 360 view camera, dynamic radar cruise control sensors are behind the wheel, uh, panel there. We have functional air vents here. These actually allow air to flow through the into the engine and also through the wheel wall itself. Parking sensors up front, LED uh, fog lights up front, gloss black lower bumper, and then this lower air dam here. If you are gonna do any off-road driving, I highly recommend taking that off or mother nature will take it off for you. Really like the look up front. If you like chrome, you're gonna love the style of this. As we swing around the side, check out those huge 22 inch cast aluminum wheels. They're kind of a dark cast aluminum wheel on there. There's your side profile. So a lot to talk about here. So 21 inch cast aluminum, they're dark painted with the satin silver finish, chrome lug nuts, uh, six of them, four wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, traction control, fully independent front and rear suspension. The over fenders, painted color to match. This is the iForce Max engine, so your hybrid engine. This badge comes standard on here. That's a little bit different than you'd see on the TRD Pro, which actually shares the same uh, engine and power plant, just a different badge. Love the, uh, the lines going over the wheel walls, front and rear. Pretty cool effect. Maybe you see them now. Outside mirrors, man, these are huge. Great for trailer towing packaging trailer towing you can see there they've got a chrome cap piano black trim all the way around the a pillars got got the black trim as well LED turn signals in these mirrors these are power folding mirrors switch on the inside to do that blind spot monitoring heated outside mirrors power mirrors memory mirrors and you see how big those are for trailer towing you're gonna love them a lot of chrome along the side again We've got chrome door handles, chrome trim over the window sills, black on your B panel. Oh, by the way, there's a camera under here as well, all part of the 360 view. Capstone Edition has this chrome accent down on the bottom, labeled with Capstone. Mud guards are standard. And then we do have the power running boards. Open your door and out they come. That's standard on the Capstone Edition. We'll dive inside a little bit later in the video. There they go back in by themselves. Privacy glass on all your back windows. Gas door is gonna be right here on the driver's side. Same 22 inch wheels and tires, of course, in the back. Mud guards in the back as well. Here's a back profile. I really like the lines on this silver capstone, really cool. Roof rail system is gonna be standard. And also, don't know if you can see it, pano moonroof up there. That's standard. We'll look at that when we go inside a little more. Colored to match shark fin antenna, upper spoiler, and then a gloss black panel right there across the back. And just like we saw up front, LED taillights. You can see those sequential taillights blinking away there. Privacy glass on the rear window. Uh, third brake light up here, rear window defrost. Rear washer wiper standard, and again the blue silver and blue Toyota logo 
chrome Sequoia badge down on the lower. Here's your backup camera. There's a light right here for trailer when you're setting up your trailer at night. Of course, we do have a power lift gate. Pop that open. That, by the way, is height adjustable. We'll talk about that later in the video. It does have the kick sensor underneath. You can pass your foot underneath there. And that'll drop that door down. Give you a little beep, make sure you get out of the way. See that light under there? So here's your satin silver trim here. There's actually another camera up in the window up here for the uh, virtual mirror up front. And then down below, we do have our backup sensors. There's actually a trailer towing hitch behind this panel, so they've got a nice little cover that goes over the top of there. And then there's your exhaust tip coming out here on the driver's side. And a full size spare tire, must have for trailer towing package. Here's a quick look at your suspension. This does have the same suspension as a Tundra, so the multi-link rear suspension. Really, really gives it a nice, smooth ride. Let's uh, head up front here. We'll uh, go ahead and pop the hood. Take Capstone Sequoia does come with the most powerful engine in all Sequoias. So this is your hybrid, uh, hybrid iForce Max power plant, 3.4 liter. V6 16 valve twin turbo man what a power plant connected to a 10 speed automatic transmission and then you see all these orange cables under here those are all related to the hybrid system so this is the hybrid synergy hybrid 437 combined horsepower uh, 583 foot pounds of torque this is a wonderful vehicle for uh, trailer towing, boat towing, uh, camper pulling, snowmobiles, all those little things. Man, this is a great engine for that. So as I mentioned, a 10-speed automatic transmission to a V6 engine with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty on there, no deductible. Then the hybrid system, the mechanics on the hybrid system, that's going to be a 10, uh, I'm sorry, a 10-year, I'm sorry, eight-year, 100,000-mile a mechanical warranty on the hybrid system and then a 10 year 150,000 mile uh, battery warranty for the hybrid battery so really great warranties no deductibles on those and then of course you get Toyota care covers your basic maintenance so your fluid top off your oil changes and uh, tire rotations all covered by Toyota care as well as a three-year 36,000 mile limited warranty no deductible and then uh, if you bring it by Smart Toyota for your service, uh, we actually include a complimentary car wash with every service. So let's go ahead and jump inside. The Stop. inside, here we'll start on the driver's door first. So this one has the black and the ivory interior. And so you'll see a lot of contrast in the stitching and also in the door panels. This is all a padded upper armrest and it has a kind of a white or a gray contrast stitching. And then there's a little bit of silver trim here, which matches this, which matches all this, and then leads down into the speaker cover on the capstone. The capstone, I believe, this and probably this uh, 1794 have that, that grill on there, but all the others is just a black grill. And then this is a padded armrest. This is padded. Uh, one touch up and down on all four windows, power door locks, power mirrors. This switch right here, that activates or controls those outside mirrors so that you can fold them in automatically. You can set that up to do that when you put it in park to drive or you can manually do it yourself. A little storage cubby here, it is rubber lined, so there's a rubber liner in there. Uh, memory seat, uh, steering wheel, outside mirrors and radio station settings here. Again, that satin silver trim on the speaker cover and then two bottle holders and there's some pockets down here for extra stuff. And then there's a puddle light right here on the bottom of the door. And then notice this one does have the power running boards. Now those running boards can be turned on and off. There's a switch down here so you can turn them off so they don't come out. Auto out or out all the time so that switch controls the running boards. Take a look at our seats. Uh, first of all your JBL uh, amplifier subwoofers uh, equipments under there the drivers all, well first of all all the seats are leather seats so no soft tech fabric uh, these are perforated heated front and second row seats height adjustable headrest height adjustable seat belts 
airbags are going to be right in the seat so when you move the seat forward the airbags move with you super safe that way both front driver and front passenger have power lumbar support and power recliner the driver's seat has power bolster up under the knee as well so it's going to be your black and kind of your ivory looking seat i like the light contrast against the black what i don't like is this part right here being the lighter color because this is the high touch area where i think that's going to get fingerprints on it quite often so i wish they would have done something different there but you can see that all the way up on the dashboard and all the way through the passenger compartment there's passenger assist grips all the way around as well up here they do have a leather cover on there silver uh, vents up front up down left and right there's one here one on the uh, passenger side and then two of them right in your center there right by the uh, sound system take a look down below we've got a litany of switches this is your power uh, door light switch auto high beams gas door dimmer switch for your dash lights odometer and trip uh, backup sensor you want to turn that off when you're hooking up to a trailer heated steering wheel control and the uh, ac 1220 volt outlet which is in the trunk that's what those switches cover here's your trunk release footrest brake and accelerator right where you'd expect them and then this one the capstone does have the power tilt telescoping steering wheel part of the memory uh, seat or the driver memory system let's grab a seat here behind the uh, steering wheel on the driver's side, quick look at the uh, driver's compartment. There's a lot of room up here. Love that panel moonroof. Opens all the way up. You can see it also tilts up. And then the front part opens completely as a sunroof. So with the, all the light interior and all the uh, light coming through that uh, panel roof, it's super bright in here. Uh, legroom, legroom, legroom. Lots of it down here. You can see I, I've got the seat all the way back. I could not drive the vehicle here. If you're a six footer, you're gonna be just fine behind the wheel of this one. Uh, let's take a look at our steering wheel. So it is a, a pretty thick padded leather steering wheel and it is heated as I mentioned, textured on the side here and then it has more of that white contrast stitching around the inside of it. A Little bit of satin silver here as well. Fingertip controls for our cruise control, fingertip controls for our dynamic radar, our lane tracing assist, all fingertips. And then over on this side, we've got sound system controls and the information center controls or toggle is right there. Over on this side of the uh, steering wheel, we've got our wiper controls for front intermittent. We have auto on and off for those and then the rear intermittent as well. And then over on this side is where we've got our headlight controls. Now we do have auto on and off. We also have auto high beams and then we have uh, fog lights here as well. So all the lighting controls are on this side. Now being the Platinum Edition, it does have the largest uh, driver's information center. This is a 12.1, you can see it's all blacked out. I'll go ahead and start it up. This does have the uh, smart keyless entry system, so keys in your pocket, foot on the brakes, hold the button in, and away you go. Now you can see when that bad boy wakes up, it is very, very colorful, lots of information in there, easy to read at night for sure. And then over here on the steering wheel, you can control what you see there just by toggling through some of the information there on the left-hand side. So you definitely can move through your system pretty easily. Uh, it also has not only a compass, but there's also down here on your drive modes, you, you can determine your drive modes by watching up on the screen and where you're at there so there's all our different drive mode settings as well eco normal and sport and so there's a lot of information in that screen that can be found just by toggling through a few uh, controls up on the upper part of the dashboard this is all padded with the light gray stitching and before I forget about it I wanted to show you there's a storage cubby right there and there's a plug so you can plug in your radar detector or your GoPro now this one does have the dash cam up here in the windshield. That's a $4.99 extra. It's not standard even on the capstone, but that's super nice if you uh, are wanting to provide evidence to the police should you get into an accident. Heading over to the center console, it is nice and wide. You see it's about as wide as my forearm. There's lots of places to stow stuff. We'll take a look at all of it in just a minute. As far as your uh, big screen, if you will, this is a 14 inch touch screen. Toyota now designs all this stuff themselves. And so we can just tap on the screen and move through it. 
Now this one's new, it's not sold, so we're not going to set it up, but I did want to show you some of your options as far as audio goes. So on the audio side of it, we've got AM, FM, we've got Sears Satellite Radio, Apple Wireless, Apple CarPlay, Wireless, Android Auto, Alexa Compatible. Um, the Sirius, you get three months of the Platinum subscription, no extra charge. You got 4G connectivity on here, and you can actually program two different smartphones to work with this. So kind of that his and her smartphone arrangement. Great system. I'm going to go ahead and switch it, flip it into reverse, because I want you to see the... Uh, the camera, the backup camera, which has path projection, but that's just the beginning of all the fun with this thing. So you've got an overhead view, you've got different perspectives you can uh, take a look at on the vehicle, different overhead views. Uh, this is a wonderful vehicle for trailer towing because of all the 360 views, and you can flip down here, down here to switch between that when you're in drive mode. The other thing it does when you're in drive mode, when you stop, it automatically flips into the camera so you can see the people in front of you and behind you. So pretty cool stuff. Stop by the dealership, take a look at it. Uh, sales consultants would be more than happy to walk you through all of that. Heading down further on the uh, center console here, we've got, turn it down a little bit, heating and air control, conditioning control. There's three systems. There's the drivers, front passengers, and then a third one for the rear. So they have their own controls back there. We have heated seats up front, ventilated seats up front, front wheel windshield, rear defrost with heated outside mirrors, and then here's your rear seat heat and temperature controls, and then a USB port right there. So lots of different cool options on here for uh, cool, no pun intended, for heating and air conditioning. Uh, we have more of that gray trim going around here as well, which is what surrounds these bezels up here. Only one knob to control the sound system. That's your volume and your power and your off right there. We have push button start, our trailer towing gain, more of our trailer towing uh, controls right there. View 360 right there, traction control on and off, four way hazards on and off right there. And then let me throw this back. We've got our parking brake and our parking brake hold here. Wireless charging right there. Just drop your phone in there and away it goes, assuming it's a wireless charging compatible phone. Moving back on the on the center console, we've got a cup holder here. They do use some wood, uh, faux wood in here. They use it here, up on the dashboard, and then there's a little bit right here on this uh, in this storage compartment right here. So a little bit of that faux wood. I'm, I'm sure it's not real. It's probably plastic, but it looks nice. Uh, transmissions that 10-speed automatic transmission. It's leather here, and then more of that gray trim all the way around there as well. And then right down here, we've got our drive modes, normal, normal, eco, and sport, our tow haul mode, and then our four-wheel drive selector right there. Just a switch, move it around and get to the position you want to be. So back up in this area here, notice this is all that ivory trim and there's a little bit of silver down here. Um, individual armrest, there's an access door right here so you can reach down inside that arm uh, compartment and then if you flip it open, holy cats, you have a lot of space down here. Two more USB ports. The, this can be configured, moved around. There's a coin slot there. They also offer as an upgrade a safe that you can put in there to put your handbag or your concealed carry, and you can lock it up in a safe. There's an LED light right here as well, so you can see in there at, at night. A lot of ambient lighting on the inside of the Sequoia capstone. So ambient lighting in here, ambient lighting down through here, and then... I don't think you can see it, but under the arm, under that silver right there, and all the way across here, there's some ambient, blue ambient lighting that can be turned on and off. Looks really cool at night. Passenger seats uh, set up identical to the driver's seat. Same fabric, same uh, ventilation and such. Passenger assist grips. This one does have the JBL audio system, so there's extra speakers. There's one up there. There's actually 14 speakers, a subwoofer, and an amplifier. On the dashboard, this is all full wood, but it reads capstone at night. That lights up and says capstone. And then as far as our visors go, of course, we've got dual visors, lighted vanity mirrors. Uh, the visors kind of slide back and forth, so there's not really an extension, more of a sliding effect. And then take a look overhead. Here's that mood lighting for the ambient lighting switch. Turn that on and off. Moon roof controls, the shade for the uh, panel roof. If you push that, oops. There it goes, it closes up the moonroof. 
and it's going to go ahead and close that shade up automatically. You can stop that shade anywhere in between. You don't have to have it completely open or completely closed. Totally up to you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, sunglass holder in here. Safety connect for roadside assistance. This has the uh, the newest mirror. I love this mirror. So this mirror actually uses a camera mounted on the back of the Sequoia to see out the back of the vehicle. So if you have passengers or cargo, you can always see behind you. And then it also has the old school one. You can flip there. And you notice there's also three garage door openers in there. So this is a terrific mirror. Strongly recommend it. It's standard on a capstone, but you can get it extra on other vehicles. Let's take a look at our glove box. Locking glove box. Nice big glove box. Of course, you get the owner's manuals. This is all padded up through here with the ivory uh, fabric on there. So a really, really cool, interesting vehicle. I don't know, maybe you can see that blue ambient lighting. It's kind of down in this area too. So that can be turned on and off if you like it or don't like it. It really gives it a nice upscale, luxurious feel. Let's jump in the back seat. Here's a look up front from the back seat, the second row. This thing is monstrous on the inside. I do like that panel roof. It brings a lot of extra light into the back seat. Features in the back seat, you've got cup holders here. Here's your heating and air conditioning controls. I, meant to, I mentioned heated and ventilated seats here in the second row. The third row does not have those. Automatic temperature control back here as well. Three power ports, two USBs, and then a 112 or 120 volt one there as well. So lots of places to plug your stuff in. Uh, pockets on the backs of both seats. Tri passenger doors all set up just like up front with the wood trim and the ivory. The passenger doors in the back seat do have an extra speaker right there. A little tweeter, I believe that is. And then you've got overhead lighting. You've got a uh, passenger assist grip with a code hook back there. Tons of leg room back here, guys. I'm telling you, the adults are going to be very comfortable back here. There is a center... Uh, console here good place to throw your cup holders little panel here as well so you've got places to put stuff these armrests do fold down on these back seats and then you do have that storage cubby in the door just like we saw up front one of the features that I like in the back seat of these is these windows do have privacy glass on there but there's a little shade you can bring up here so if you've got a wee one in a seat and you're just trying to give them some extra protection from the Sun that can come in super handy as well. So just a ton of luxurious features in the back seat. And I guess you'd expect that out of the top of the line Sequoia, the capstone edition. So same we saw up front. This is a look from the third row all the way up front. So the third row does have a lot of nice uh, amenities as well. I've got the seats folded down here just so you can see the cargo room. This actually, this seat will seat three people, uh, probably three children or two smallish adults, most comfortable. Uh, we do have the button right here, so you can move that seat up and down from back here. That's kind of nice. Also, we've got cup holders over here, one of those shades down there as well. For some reason, this doesn't want to go down. Oh, I know what I have to do kind of have to put it all the way up before you can put it all the way down so we're gonna bring that up but then you can see it there you go so there is a storage compartment down there you can see this reclines all the way back with the height adjustable headrest and there's that little uh, shade over here check this out oh, this little deal pretty cool so comfortable back here for sure these are not heated and ventilated seats there's vents up here there's lights back here there's coat hooks back here more cup holders check that out like so there's a usb port right there only on this uh driver's side though that's kind of surprising there's a speaker down here so it's i mean if you're going to put little ones wee ones you're going to put small adults like myself i could ride back here all the way to chicago or milwaukee Getting out is pretty easy, so it kind of pops up like that, and then you just jump up and get out again. So before we jump inside, I want to show you the box of goodies that come with this. The cargo net's going to be standard. Carpeted floor mats and, uh, with capstone on there, they're going to be standard. These are your license plate brackets if you want to put those on. 
And then this one's been ordered with the all season, all, all weather floor liners. I strongly recommend them. So this one comes with two sets of floor mats, summer and winter. That tailgate opens nice and high. It is programmable so you can set it up not to hit the roof of your garage. It also has the kick sensor to be able to open and close it. Then there's also some speakers in the tailgate right here. I wish they would have put uh, LED lights up there so that would make it really great for tailgating, especially as it gets dark out. Nice big opening, a little bit of a step here. You can sit down on that to change out your boots or your, your hiking boots or your skis or what have you. Nice cargo room in the back here. This shelf right here actually comes up and out and you can see it goes to three different positions. So that's pretty nice. Uh, cargo net goes here. We've got some tie down hooks here. The jack and the tool kits stowed underneath there. 12 volt or 120 volt plug on over on this side here. And then these back seats, they fold down 60, 40. You can just use the switch right here, push it and they'll go down all by themselves. Notice how that headrest dropped down all by itself. And now you got a tremendous amount of space. Oh, there's a USB port right there. I didn't see. Check that out. And then over on this side, same thing. If I hit this button. Come on, go. Let's go. There it goes. So that button headrest pops down. And now that whole thing folds up. Check that out. A lot of room. And then these little, this part right here, these flip over to fill the gap between the seats. So you can go ahead and put your stuff in there. So really innovative design and style. Notice the seat belts also tether and hook up on the side here. So if you don't have anybody back here, you can put these in here like this. And your seat belts won't rattle around on you. They won't get caught up in the seats when you put the seats up and down. They're actually designed to go in just like that. So a really great design. Ton of, of room, cargo room, passenger room. This is uh, one of the best people movers on the marketplace whoever gets this one is going to get an excellent excellent vehicle so that's your uh, 24 toyota sequoia capstone edition hey if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up feel free to share it out this one is still available here on december 6 2024 so you could buy this one again and take it home today if you're interested go to smarttoyota.com or just give us a call at smart toyota thanks for watching